Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing fantastically and that you are all of course keeping safe. So as I mentioned in last week's video, um, I thought I'd film kind of like day in my life in quarantine. Um, it might not be the wisest of decisions as my days really are, like, are not that interesting or exciting of course I'm literally quite literally locked in my room um but anyway weather today is honestly quite quite good for being in London I mean London is quite rainy oh there we go it's very pretty but sadly of course I cannot go out to kick things off we naturally start the day with breakfast um and thankfully I get delivered breakfast every morning um However, I am getting a bit tired of the um, sam breakfast sandwiches, but we will not be complaining because positivity is the only thing keeping me going, honestly, at this point. Um, we've got our sandwiches. I think they put in some ham today, which is nice. Some, uh, what, what are these called? Crackers? Biscuits? Yogurt? Apple? I mean, it is a pretty big delivery producer to myself, which is nice. Time for a mini workout. Ooh. Gotta stay fit. Hello, the time is now around three o'clock and I'm I'm in the mood for some lunch. I'm a bit hungry. So today I thought I'd show you guys how I make noodles in my student accommodation. So basically, of course, like I don't have like a stove um, or anything like stuff, stuff like that, so I can't make them like normally. However, a very good life hack, student life hack, is to put your noodles in the kettle somehow. It's, it's it sounds crazy, but it really does work. So basically, what you do is you have to open up. These are like really spicy, like Korean noodles. They're so delicious, but so deadly. You open them up, basically. You kind of have to also like crack them so you can like fit everything in. There we go. You open up. I also need to fill a bit more water. I'll be back soon. So you fill this up with water, and then you put in, of course, the noodles. Just put them like that. It's a bit scary putting this in, you know. But anyways. Here we have like the deadly sauce that we're gonna put in later. Not in the kettle, of course, because then my kettle would honestly be crazy. You kind of like shut it, of course, and then put it on. I just usually put it on for like, like until it's bo like finished boiling, like maybe like a bit longer. I just leave it in like that. Um, I mean, of course, this isn't really ideal because I, of course, make coffee with it as well. Yum. Um, but I just have to like rinse it out loads of times afterwards, so my coffee isn't starchy. It defi probably definitely is, but like, who cares? Student life. Student life, am I right? So I'll be back once they're done. The noodles are done, and I am not be more excited. Here we go. I've poured out the water, and then you just like. That is quite a disgusting sight, I imagine. But, I mean, who cares? Ah, ash. Anyway, there we go. So here we have the noodles. Um, and of course, I'm not going to eat them like this, as a psycho would. I'm going to put in the sauces. This sauce is actually terrifying, and it's probably, like, deadly for my body, I don't know if you care. So you put it in, I don't think everything is just too spicy at that point, I'm not going to lie. Come like this, there we go. Um, yeah, that's really fine. And then I can do like some sprinkles. Usually I don't want this. I think I'm going to crunch me a bit. These are like, they're like cheap. There you go. Um, and then I just like, mush it around. Okay, the noodles are complete. Now for the taste test. I'm so excited, but so, yet so nervous. This stuff is spicy. Let's see. My first uh, mukbang, isn't that exciting? Mm. 
Mm. It's so yummy though. But so spicy, I need some tissue. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this and ball my fucking eyes out. Could not be more excited. Let's have another taste. Guys, I look feel like this is turning into a food vlog as I have yet another meal to show you guys. And because I really, because I really wasn't feeling the fish and chips, I thought I'd treat myself with a bit of Indian food. Ah, Indian takeaway, I'm so sorry, I, I ordered loads, but of course I'm gonna like have, um, store everything in my like fridge, so, so I'm not gonna waste anything. So let's see what I've got. This is chicken tikka. Mm, the smell, the smell, guys. Ah, I'm so excited about this. Um, and I see that this other curry thing. I can't remember what it's called. Look at that, oh. guys. I am obviously super duper excited. I've got like rice and then some mint, some naan bread, of course, obviously. But anyways, I'm going to enjoy this. These past few days have been interesting. Mm, not interesting, they've been fucking traumatizing. So basically, I got like really drunk two days ago and I accidentally dropped my phone in the toilet. Um, child, anyway, so, so I dropped in the toilet. It's now in this little like rice thing, a rice bag, and, it's, and I'm trying to get it to work again. But it's like, it's not happening. It's just totally and utterly destroyed. So thankfully today I got to borrow a friend's phone here from Connaught. Thank you Noah so, so, so much. I'm feeling a lot better now, of course. I made myself some coffee. I might make myself some like sandwiches. Small update on my work, guys. It's going super, super, super. Is this Philly I'm doing now? I am literally all day. I've been like sitting in my room, like literally screaming, like throwing like shit around everywhere. I've been. Okay, we're not talking more about this. I will return once I've become a bit more sane. is my last meal in quarantine guys um tonight at midnight um i am out of quarantine i'm allowed to at least i like, go out of my room for a bit and i like, go outside and i cannot be more excited i am this i've waited for this day for literally literally 10 days it's been a rough 10 days i will say but yeah, this is my last meal that I will have to eat alone in my room. Tomorrow for breakfast, I'll be able to go down to the um, canteen and eat with somebody. So I'm very excited for that. Um, and yeah. Hi guys, it's been a hot minute since the last clip. I think it's been like a week or something. But anyways, I'm holding up fine. Um, I've just been with my friends in Cornwall like these past few days. Just like doing loads of work, so nothing like special really has happened, I would say. Um, but yeah, I thought I would end this vlog here. I literally have no idea how this vlog will turn out when editing, so I am excited but a bit scared to witness that. I hope that it isn't like too boring. But yeah, anyways, I think my next video is going to be like a day in the life or like an actual student this time like but yeah i'll see you guys soon and thank you so much for liking oh not liking watching this video and, and i hope you liked that i vlogged uh yeah i hope so and um, but i'll see you guys soon and take care